Hey scientists, we are getting ready to get started with our next STEM project. Let me just look over my supplies to make sure I have everything before we get started. Ooh, looks like I'm missing a supply. I need eggs for my egg drop test. Let's see, where can I get some eggs? Aha, uh -huh, I know. Hodo Farms is just down the street. I'm gonna go see Farmer Hodo. Let's go. Hey, Farmer hey. Hodo. It's Hi. me, Scientist Goble. Hi, Scientist Goble. Hi, I'm doing this science experiment in my science lab right now, and I need some eggs to help test out the science experiment. Do you have any eggs that I can use? Of course I do. Can you see all my chickens here? Awesome. I'll be right back. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Hey, Thanks so much. Scientist Goble, what are you going to do with my eggs? Why don't you come with me to my science lab and I'll show you. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Well, welcome to my science lab. I love it. It's a little batty in here. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to be doing some biomimicry. And biomimicry, we're going to be copying something that we see in nature. And what we're copying is a bird's nest. Have you ever seen a bird's nest before? Yeah, I happen to bring one today. It's your lucky day. Awesome. Let's see what you have. Check out my bird nest here. Oh, wow. Whoa. And if you notice in my bird's nest, there's some twigs and they're kind of all moving in different directions. I see. There's some feathers and whatever they could find outside. And they're protecting these eggs inside here. Can you see these little eggs? Oh, yeah, I do see those. Isn't that amazing? Very cool. Well, you at home are going to be doing the same thing. You are going to be making a bird's nest as well. So just like birds who have to find their things outside, you're going to be finding things at your home. So here are some things that I found in my science lab that I'm going to use for the STEM project. I have some bubble wrap, some cotton balls, craft sticks, a spoon, some straws, a paper plate, some tissue. You're going to want to mimic the bird's nest that we just saw from Farmer Hodo in making your own bird's nest. Here's how you're going to be able to test it. You need to get some type of a ruler or a measuring stick and you're also going to want to get an egg. Yes, an actual egg. It's probably a good idea to put it in a little bag, a Ziploc bag, and zip it up just in case it breaks. It's going to keep that mess all into that bag. So once you have your um, your bird's nest done, you're going to set, so if this was already all done, I'm going to take the egg. I'm going to first test it at six inches as an egg drop. So I start at six inches and I drop it to see if the egg lands in the nest. If it lands in the nest and it doesn't break, success. Now you can move on to your next test. Your next test would be at 12 inches and you're going to drop it. My egg rolled off, so it probably would have broke. If, it, if yours did not, you're going to go all the way up to 24 inches and drop your egg from there. Hope everything goes well for you as you mimic your bird's nest. Have fun!